Okay, a couple of weeks ago I did uh, a video on Photoshop Express to let everybody know it was a, just released from Adobe and it's free and all that. However, after working with it for a couple of weeks, I decided it didn't have enough functions. I didn't like uh, having to uh, not have the certain functions that I could do. So I decided to search for a different uh, application for Windows 8. And after checking out a couple of them, I found uh, the one I believe I like the best, and that's FOTOR, F-O-T-O-R. So let's go ahead and search for that. And we'll go to the store here, and you'll see the listing of all the different things. Now, there's two different versions. There's a Windows 8 version, and there's a desktop app version. Uh, so, as you can see, there's a desktop app. You have to go get it from the publisher. It installs like a regular one. But what we're going to do is we're going to go back, and we're going to choose the one for Windows 8. So, the, the Windows 8 one is uh, free. I, I've already installed it, so that's why it says there's, there's the normally install button. Uh, if you read about it and everything, the details, well, this is about just the update. Reviews are outstanding. Uh, if you click on reviews and read all those and everything, you can see how well it's been reviewed and everything. So it's, uh, let's go back and uh, let's go take a look at it. So if I type in FOTAR again, and, and there it is, you hit enter. I just haven't put a, a link on my desktop. But anyways, here's the samples. They have samples you can go look at and do all that. But we're going to go ahead and get right into it. Uh, we're going to go and say open a photo. So we have some cat photos of we cat sat a uh, relative's cat for a while. So we have those and we have some uh, pictures. So we're going to grab a flower and we're going to go ahead and say edit that. So if you look here, we're on the scenes menu and we look here at all the different scenes that are available. They're very nice. And there's this one tap in the hands, does automatic adjustments. We go ahead and click on that and you see it does a really nice job of uh, changing the picture. And all these other ones do pretty much what they say they do dark and cloudy and all that and everything so if you want to have a present a picture as if it was taken at a certain time you can do that through this menu you just click on the different one you think uh, was match it and just keep changing it until you find the effect that you like uh, it does a, a really really nice job of that uh, so choose the one you want and then you can go on to your other menus this is the, in the scenes menu but then we can go on here and we can go to the edit menu so uh, let's go over here to uh, edit mode. You notice if you click on the right menu here, that, that's the menu that's highlighted. You'll click there and it changes the menu to, there's the one there where you can do manual adjustments. And uh, you can do this to tweak it even more to whatever you want to have as far as the adjustment. Now, these are basic edits, so if you go down here and you want to say like blur and sharpen, some of the things that some people don't ever touch, but if you want to make some special effects or change the tint, let's say, okay, now it's going to be there go ahead and do that now you have to set those back yourself because if you go back here and say enhance again you click back here you'll see the edits are still in effect so you have to be careful with that uh, but then we'll just go on to the crop menu now the crop menu is just what you would expect but it has a very nice feature where you don't have to draw it every time you can sit there and click on it and you can resize it and then you confirm the resize and everything it'll crop it to whatever dimensions it says there you also have some standard cropping sizes you can do. For example, if you want to do a 16 by 9 or something like that for a desktop background, let's say of a widescreen monitor, uh, you can go ahead and click on that and confirm that. So you can do all this stuff, uh, uh, change it to whatever size you want to have and everything. So if we go down here to effects, we can change it. Now there's all sorts of effects here, some of which I don't understand. I haven't created any favorites yet. But if you, I don't know what Angel's Kiss is, for example, or Cool Summer, and but if we click on that, it does that effect. Um, and you notice it has a checkbox, so you can have multiple effects applied at once. So there's a, a comic uh, book effect, and they change that one to a different kind of effect. You keep playing with this until you uh, have an effect that you want to have and everything. You can change the strength of some of the effects as well. So you can play around with these, uh, have different things like dark corners and all, all different kind of things you can go ahead and do. If you click on borders, you can see all the different kind of borders. And I don't know if, how many people use this. Uh, I haven't used uh, borders for quite a few years and everything. But uh, there you go. You can have a different kind of border applied. They also have a uh, tilt mode or a, where you can sit there and play with it. I haven't played with this a lot, but you can change the size of your tilt mode. You can change different effects and everything like that. So play around with this function as well. Uh, then you click uh, rotate and nothing happens as far as I was concerned, but uh, you can go ahead and find out what, uh, what you like. Uh, then we, lastly, let's take a look at text mode. If you click on text and then you just type in your text, say blah, 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 and say confirm. And there's a text right there in your box. It's a little hard to see. Let's move it up here and there you can see it. You can do different things with it. 
uh, let's try, well, I didn't try to rotate it, but let's try a text template. You can go here and change it. If I click on one of the templates, it puts a kind of a blurry background behind it and everything. And there's some, a few here you can play with and everything. Of course, there's the save button. After you're all done and everything, you can save it. Now, if you exit you know, by using your arrow, you'll see that it tells you what your current size and everything. The aspect ratio is locked. You can choose different uh, dense, you know, levels of your uh, file size and everything. And this one here, we're going to say, uh, forget the, everything I did. So we're going to go over to collage now. And we're going to select a few of the pictures there. We're going to say open. And it automatically makes the collage the one you chose. So it's, you can sit there and change that and choose a different collage and do all that. You can say you want to print quality, medium, and all that. Let's say you wanted to print some stuff out. Some people are really into that kind of thing. Or you can do a free collage. You can sit there and uh, change it with a different background, uh, do different things. You can also change the color. So uh, another uh, nice function on uh, this, on Fotar. You can save that uh, as well. And we're going to say no here. So that's uh, Fotar for Windows 8. A really nice application. Tons of features. Free. So I suggest you try it out.